Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of us is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. And so here we are looking at the weekly time frame because I did want to go over a couple things on this time scale that do look bullish. However, when I do switch over to the daily time scale, it is quite possible we are in the process of forming a bearish pattern. So good to keep an eye on that. But here, you know, what I wanted to show on the weekly time frame is that the close for the week closing at a price of $24.18 on Friday, March 22nd, we did close above this uptrending dashed line based on these two pivot highs. And so I do think that does suggest a lot of strength. We have gotten a couple wicks below it, one close below it and an open below it, but we have more or less been respecting this uptrending level as support. So I do think that is good. And I do think that we could be looking at a bull flag here. So I do think this could be quite bullish. However, there are some things that do stand out to me as being bearish. And so I think it's going to be good to be keeping an eye on the levels that I go over on the daily time scale in just one minute. But before I switch over to the daily time frame, I did want to point out these wick highs that we hit hitting a high over the course of the week, ending on March 8th. We did hit a high of $27.50, uh, and then the following week, hitting a high on the week of $26.83, so not even able to get to $27 a share, also being down almost 10% over the course of that week, and following that big red week, uh, we did get consolidation on the weekly time scale, and so it is quite possible we might be actually putting in a bear flag right here. So it will be interesting to see if price consolidates over the next week or if it does start to drop or perhaps rally, getting one last attempt at 27 or maybe it does continue higher. But yeah, for the rest of this video, I'm going to switch over to the daily time frame because I wanted to point out this purple uptrend. In the last video that I put out, I had this uptrend extended to the base of this red candle here as that was Friday, March 15th. That was the last candle that was completed. But since we did dip lower than that on the 19th, hitting a low of $22.92, I did adjust that uptrend, that purple line, which to me looks like we might be forming a head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder here head right here and perhaps we are forming the right shoulder now but you know i don't think that it is the white dashed line that is the neckline i do think it is the purple one since we did hit a lower low uh, so we do have a little bit more wiggle room before we get down to retesting that level as support but if it does look like we are forming this right shoulder price could be going much slower, so do keep that in mind. And retesting that level would be coming down to a price of right around $23 a share. And I also do wanna point out that the high here that was hit on the 21st was at a price of $25.33, and that does seem to correspond pretty nicely uh, with this left shoulder here. So I am thinking that we could be setting ourselves up for quite a pullback. And if I do get a measurement from the top of the head down to the neckline, it's actually a little bit more than going down to $20 a share, actually looking like it could be closer to $19, $18 if we do get a measured move, a measured break below that neckline. Uh, and that would correspond with getting close to filling this gap down here, marked by the blue line at $17.87, which was the high on February 5th before this gap up. And the base of this candle here on the 6th, the low was 1976. So really in that range from around 18 to $20, I do think price could be returning there, 
but I also do think we could get another attempt at 27. And the reason for that is that based on this purple uptrend, you might notice that we have been putting in higher lows on the way up, whereas with the RSI, we have been putting in lower lows. And so that is hidden bullish divergence. So that could suggest that we will be getting another rally up to 27, if not higher. But if we do pull back and get to this neckline right around $23 or lower, we could be seeing a four to $6 drop. So do prepare for that. Um, and then also I do have some Fibonacci retracements up here. I've just grayed them out. So I'm just gonna bring them back into picture so we can get an idea of some levels that we might want to be paying attention to. And so looking at these Fibonacci retracements, we can see from this one going from the low hit on February 21st up to the high hit on March 7th, we can see the 618 level is at a price of $24.28 and the closing price on Friday was just below that by 10 cents. So that doesn't look too good, but if we can reclaim that on Monday, closing above 24.28, I do think that would be really good. And then the next level down is the 786 at 2340, which does coincide with the 236 from this yellow retracement here at a price of $23.29. So really the range from like $23.30 to 40 cents does seem like that could be acting as some support. And we actually have seen a couple wicks going down to those levels. So it does seem like that has indeed acted as support. But the big question is, will it act as support again if we do dip lower or will we retest this purple uptrend and form that right shoulder? If we do break that level and go lower, some levels to be paying attention to are $22.29, which was the low hit on the 21st. And then also just below that, is the 382 from this retracement over here that is at a price of $21.90 being just above this orange line that I have drawn at $21.85 which corresponds to this previous high following the last run up after earnings. So I do think that is going to be a significant level and we may be returning to it. Uh, but if we do break below these levels and start to show some weakness, following that measured move, we could be heading to right around $19 a share, and that does correspond with the 1618 extension from this retracement here at a price of $19.07. So if we do break and close below $23 a share over the course of the next week, getting two closes below that level, that could suggest that we have formed this right shoulder and that price will be going down by about $5. And so do keep that level in mind. If we do break it, brace for the downside. There could be some great dip buying opportunities down here, as I do feel like Palantir is a great stock to hold long term. But just in the near term, if we do form this right shoulder, be prepared for $18 to $20 a share. As you know, I am going to be prepared to buy the dip there. I'm pretty excited about that if it does happen, but I'm also cheering if we break above 27 and hold but we'll have to wait and see. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.